All right, I wanted to show the making of a couple bracelets. I've got a couple that have to go out uh, for a young lady named Amanda that uh, made an order for two bracelets on our Etsy shop. They're going to be similar to this. They're going to have a rectangle logo in the middle, and they're going to have the uh, D-ring shackle like this. So uh, I'm going to make two of them, and I thought I'd uh, bring you along so you can watch. First, we got to start out cutting the stripe that's going to be for one of the bracelets. And I usually cut it about nine inches long. And I cut off the other end because the stripe I gut. I take all the inner, the seven inner strands out of the paracord. These parts here. And discard those. <coughs> And I seal the ends so they won't unravel. And I'm kind of trying to go fast because I don't want to burn up all my time on this. She wanted a gray uh, bracelet with an orange stripe. As you can see on this one, the bracelet is all black. She wanted uh, one that was gray with an orange stripe and one black with a gray stripe. And one she wanted <coughs> the logo. This is just a page of some of our logos. They're 16 millimeters by 12 millimeters. I made them up myself. This is going to be the logo for her husband's business, High Caliber Firearms. And she also wanted a Come and Take It AR emblem. She wanted it in uh, orange, and I didn't think it was going to work out, but once I made it, it came out pretty good. So I'm going to hopefully surprise her with that. But since i got to do another bracelet with a gray stripe, I might as well do that now. Usually when I do it, I always try to seal the ends so they're ready for the next one. Cut off the edge of that, cut it. I like to gut the stripe in the bracelet because it lays flatter. If you leave it um, full of the inner strands, it'll be kind of fat and lumpy and it won't lay down really flat. And uh, I don't think it looks as good. So we'll save that for our next bracelet. And he needs a nine and a half inch bracelet, which I need to measure out nine foot of paracord to yield a nine inch bracelet. I have the people measure the wrist size, and she gave me the measurement of seven and a half inches, and I add on <coughs> an extra amount. Excuse me for counting, but I want to make sure I get enough. I'll add a little bit extra. And I seal both the end of the cord for the bracelet and the cord for the next one. So it won't fray while it's in the bag or anything. <coughs> So now I take it, you can't really see because a lot of it's out of the frame, but I fold it over once and get the end here. I take out the, the loop part of the shackle, I undo it. Some of the stuff I could have done beforehand, right? Go up through the bottom. And all I'm doing now is just a general uh, girth hitch. This is just the start of the bracelet. And I just go through the middle, pull it through, and just pull it tight. Now the other ends I take through. Make sure I got it right. I flatten these out kind of flat, but I really need them a little bit round. So I 
heat it up just a little bit. Pinch it on all four sides so instead of it being kind of flat and oblong, it's more round shaped. Then I take my adjustable buckle, it's got four holes in it, but I, you always use one. And I go through one side, one direction, pull it tight, and I go through the other side, the other direction. usually a tight fit so I usually need one of my picks to kind of push it through it's still gonna be tight as you can see not always simple so it's frayed a little so we'll the frayed bits. Sometimes different paracords you buy from different manufacturers, some will be thicker than others, some will be more round, uh, some are more tightly woven. Um, different ones have kind of, I don't know, different textures. Even the way the inner strands melt when you when you work it. Sometimes they just are different. Okay. So basically I went through one side with the right from right to left and from left to right with the other one. And I can just grab the two squeeze now one of the things that I do like about these types of bracelets is that uh, with this shackle is it gives a little bit of leeway the three holes will allow an adjustment of about a half inch for the customer or the user. So if they want it a little tight sometimes, they can tighten it up. If they want it a little loose, they can loosen it up. It gives a little more e leeway <coughs> and uh, in some respects makes it a little easier, you know, as the person making it, to not worry so much about getting it exactly right. Sometimes once I pull that down, they get kind of twisted around, and you have to unravel them. How far, what time are we at the Buster ZX? Eight minutes. Eight minutes, all right. As you can see, not a fast process. But I think the final result will be real nice. Okay, push pause for a minute. 